Hello friends, welcome to this training video. In this video, we are wiring an industrial electrical panel with all details. If you are interested in electricity, I suggest you watch this video and support me by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. For this, we first measure the widths of the electrical panel. Then we cut two ducts for the bottom and top. These are the two ducts that we have cut. The height of these ducts is 6 cm and its wide is 4 cm. Then we put the duct in their place. Now we set the wide of the ducts. There are two rows in the switchboard. One of is 13 cm and the other is 18 cm. We know that the wide of the ducts is 4 cm. So the sum of the, all these numbers is 35 cm. So for the columns, two we cut a 35 cm duct number. Then we put the 35 cm ducts in place. Now we need to secure the ducts in place. We do this with self-tapping screws. Now we measure the widths of the part that separate the upper and lower parts and cut the corresponding duct. We set the distance of the upper parts to 13 cm and the distance of the lower parts to 18 cm. The installation of the ducts is finished. We will install the rails. In the first step, we measure the wide of the rails and cut them. Make sure that when we cut the rail, the edge is not sharp and does not hurt the hand. Then you put the rail in the middle of the first row and fasten it with three screws. In the lower part, we install two rows of rails. In the first row, the contactors are placed and in the second row, the current controllers are placed. And the last step, we install the rail in the lowest section. The input and output terminal of the electrical panel are placed on this. Its distance to the duct should be approximately 6 cm. The installation of the rails and ducts is finished. Now we will install the protection and control equipment inside the electrical panel. In this electrical panel, a RCCB switch is considered as the main switch. This switch supplies electricity to the entire equipment. A single phase miniature switch that supplies power to the command circuit. To protect the outputs against voltage increase or decrease, we use a three phase monitoring relay, which is placed in series in the control circuit. This switchboard has two contactor outputs, for each of which we install a digital timer relay. We also consider several miniature suites for single phase outputs. We also have two contactor outputs. For each contactor output, we put a current controller relay that protects the electric motors against access current. If you don't know how to wire these equipments, please click on the video link above. In this step, we install the input and output terminals. At first, we install four terminals to enter the main power to the panel. Three of them are for phase and one of them is for neutral. Now we install terminals for single phase outputs as well. Also the output has command neutral.
conductor outputs are also single phase, so we install their terminals in pairs. The installation of equipment is finished. Now we start the wiring. At first we connect three phases and neutral from the input terminals to the input of the RCCB switch. Then we connect the output of the RCCB switch to the input of the miniature switch. Pay attention that the three phases should be divided almost equally on them. In order to control the phases, the three-phase monitoring relay must sample all three phases and the neutral wire. So three phases and the neutral output must be connected to it. We also connect one phase to the command switch. Now we connect the single phase outputs to the output terminals. The first switch is for a single phase outlet that is installed on the body of the electrical panel.
These two switches are for contactor outputs, so we connect them to the input of contactors. These two switches are for a water cooler, so before connect them to the output terminals, we connect them to the switch of the cooler installed on the body of the electrical panel and then connect them to the output terminals. Then we connect the output of the contactor to the output terminals, but before that we pass through the hole of the current controller relay. By doing this, the current passing through these wires is measured. All single phase outputs need a neutral wire, so we connect the neutral wire from the neutral output of the RCCB switch to the blue neutral terminals.
Also, all relays, including three-phase monitoring, timers, contactors, and current controllers need a neutral wire that we connect. Now, for the control circuit, we connect the output of the control switch to the input of all of relays, which is pin 15. We have installed a two-position switch on the door of the switchboard, which is used to disconnect and connect the contactors. One mode is for permanent startup and the other mode is for timer startup. The inputs of these switches are connected to the output of the monitoring relay and their output is connected to the current controller and from the output of the current controller to the contactors. Therefore, all relays protection are placed in series in the circuit. Wiring is finished. In this step, we close the door of the ducts. You can download the wiring diagram in the description section. This video is finished. If you like the video, please press the like and subscribe. And if you have any question, please ask in the comment section. Goodbye.